Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to take the square root of 32 times a to the seventh, b to the fifth. Now to do that, uh, we need to determine what we can take the square root of and what we cannot. Now remember, taking the square root of is, is trying to determine what values multiplied by themselves are going to give us our, um, what number multiplied by itself is going to, uh, is going to equal our right hand. Well, there's no number that multiplies by itself gives us 32. No number multiplied by itself that gives us um, a to the seventh or b to the fifth. However, there are some numbers that we can take the square root of um, that to get a even uh, term or, int or integer. And those numbers are what we call perfect squares. For instance, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, for instance. You could do x squared, x to the fourth, x to the sixth, x to the eighth. Um, that was 4, so x to the tenth. Those are all examples. And again, the square root of 4 is 2. The square root of 25 is 5. The square root of x to the fourth is x squared. The square root of x to the eighth is x to the fourth, because x to the fourth times x to the fourth equals x to the eighth. So basically what we want to do is be able to rewrite these terms in terms of their largest squared number, in terms of the largest squared number that we can rewrite as a product. So for 32, I look at my squared numbers and I say, oh, 32 is not divisible by 36, not divisible by 25, but it is divisible by 16. So I can rewrite that as 16 times 2. For a to the 7th, it is divisible by x to the, or I guess that could be a to the 6th. And so if I multiply that by a to the 6th, well, then I need to multiply that by a to give me a to the 7th, right? Because a to the 6th times a to the 1st would be a to the 7th. b to the 5th can be rewritten as times b to the 4th times b. So again, remember, the reason why this works is because that is the same as x squared times x squared. And I can take the square root of both of those. This is um, x cubed, or I can think about it that way, x cubed times x cubed, which is just going to leave you with x squared. So therefore, the square root of 16 is 4. So I can take the square root of that. The square root of a to the sixth is a cubed. The square root of b to the fourth is b squared. So I take those out, and now I'm just left with 2 times a times b. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you simplify your radical expression. Thanks.